Now we're ready to apply power to the PIM. Uh, so taking the, the connector, uh, the AC connector is on the furthest side uh, of the PIM. So the, the PIM actually needs to go through a boot sequence um, at the start and you'll notice it's showing a heartbeat signal. Uh, so while the core module uh, is booting up and get, getting ready to point, uh, it will go through this cycle. When the PIM starts uh, audibly beeping, uh, we know that the, the PIM has found uh, its GPS location. Uh, the core module um, has uh, found the correct beam map, so it knows uh, what beam and, and satellite to look for, and we're ready to start the pointing process. So now that the PIM is audibly beeping, uh, we, know that we know that the PIM is actually ready to point to the satellite. Just a couple of points about the Global Express system that, that make it unique. Um, the core module actually has uh, what's called a beam map in it, and that maps, up, maps out each of the beams uh, for the three satellites in the constellation. So the first thing that the core module will do when it beeps, uh, boots up, uh, receive its GPS location from the PLS, and that will help the core module to interrogate uh, which satellite it actually uh, is sitting under. And then it can determine the beam that it needs to be pointed into. So uh, for the pointing process itself, before we start, it's worth just doing a quick check uh, of the spirit level uh, on the tripod, uh, just to make sure that the terminal is properly leveled, because uh, this will assist in getting to the best uh, and most accurate pointing. Um, and the first thing we'll do uh, is adjust the elevation. You always adjust elevation first. So uh, using the crank handle, uh, what I'm going to do uh, is, um, is adjust um, forward uh, and back um, to get to the correct elevation. Now, looking at the actual PIM GUI itself, uh, you'll notice there are crosshairs. And during the course pointing process, you'll hear a, a, a slower uh, tone uh, and it will be lit up in the direction uh, that you need to actually orient the antenna itself. So currently, um, it's lit up uh, on the top of the crosshair and also on the, on the left. So that means that I need to uh, move the antenna up uh, and to the left to get to position. So as you move towards the correct position, uh, you'll see that the lights will move towards the centre uh, and the frequency of the beeping will also get faster to show that you're getting closer to the correct position. Okay, so I've now got the elevation uh, roughly in the correct position. Uh, the next task uh, is to adjust the azimuth. Uh, and as I said, uh, it's pointing towards the left, um, so I need to orient the antenna uh, just by moving, uh, placing my hands on the side uh, of the aperture uh, towards that position. Okay, um, so now that the, the sound has changed uh, to these high pitched uh, noises, we know that we've moved into fine point. Um, you'll also notice when, when you move into fine point um, that instead of the, the lights moving towards the center uh, to show your position when you're in course pointing, it's actually, it's actually illuminating out towards the edge of the crosshairs. Uh, and the further out you go, uh, the higher the peaking signal. And each time, uh, the whole crosshair lights up in green, it means that you found a new peak signal. And we may have to do this a few times uh, to get to the, uh, the fully peaked signal. So I've tightened up the collar. It's important that you tighten up uh, that, the, the coarse azimuth collar uh, before you um, go any further in the fine pointing mode uh, because uh, tightening this up afterwards could actually change the accuracy of your pointing. So the first thing for us to do now uh, is to fine point the elevation. 
So you notice that the, the pitch just changed there, it meant that we found a new uh, peak signal. It's good practice when you're doing the fine pointing, uh, once you've found the peak signal, to go past it um, to make sure that you are, you are, actually, um, you are actually at the, the full peak. Okay, I'm now happy that my elevation uh, is pointed correctly, um, so I'm ready to tighten up uh, the elevation screws so to lock it into position. Okay, the last operation uh, is to uh, adjust the fine, uh, the fine uh, azimuth uh, pointing. Um, so uh, there's, a, there's a, a little assembly here uh, to be able to uh, adjust that. Um, there's also some locking uh, for the, the fine point azimuth that you should just make sure are uh, untensioned before you start this process. Okay, I've now found the maximum azimuth position, um, so I'll tighten up the locking screws. And now that that's done, the uh, last thing I need to do uh, is pr pr uh, press the point button. That completes the pointing process uh, and it also unmutes the butt. Uh, so now the terminal uh, is ready to plug in um, all, all your ancillary devices and start communicating uh, over the GX network.